our planet thousands of years ago. What people don't realize is that they irrevocably altered our reality. What was will never be, and what will be isn't. I'm not sure I follow you there. Oops. They shifted the very fabric of space and time. Yeah. Time traveling aliens. Are they aliens, Bob? Or are they us? Alright. Here we are. <laughs> you call it masculinity, but what it really is, let's be honest, is chauvinism. Here we go. Men are taught to conquer. You find it all across history and theology. Hades abducts Persephone and takes it to the underworld to be his bride. Her father even allows it to happen. And speaking of fathers, Helen of Troy was afraid her beauty would start a war amongst her suitors, only to have her abducted, raped, and to start a war anyway. After that, we have the Romans. No improvement there. Next. It's not just about the orgasm for her. Now we're You're talking. You're focusing on the wrong thing. <laughs> it's intimacy she's missing. She wants to be close to you, not just sexually, but emotionally. That's the connection you need to build. So you mean like talk to her about feelings and stuff while we're doing it? <laughs> Alice, the man. You've reached the empty shell of the man who used to be Harris. How may I be of service to you, my liege? What's your ETA on that pickup? Uh. Oh. Fuck you. What was that? I'm here, I think. Passing you give any better description than County Line 10 north of 83? Like what? I don't know, mile marker, a sign, maybe a cactus shaped like a giant dildo? They're all shaped like dildos. Oh, that's true. You just drive around until you either find her or the hill mutants descend upon the cab and devour you. Make sure they don't scratch the interior. Roger that. Frank, after all. Call for a cab, miss? I sure did. Please tell me I've eaten there. As long as you don't mind the smell of burning. I'll take burning over freezing. Don't say I didn't warn you. of Elm and River Drive, please. One middle of nowhere, coming right up. That smells like burning. You warm enough yet back there? I am. Alright. So what's your name? Harris. You gonna call me Harry? Please never do that. Okay. Harris. How long have you been driving? Sixteen years. Although some nights feels like forever. You must like the road. I don't hate it. Does it ever get boring? <laughs> Occasionally. What do you do to pass the time? You know, when not engaged in riveting conversation with one of your fans. Games, mostly. You know, what kind of games? Like, like I got this one where I see how many green lights I can catch in a row before hitting red. I never said they were fun games. Twelve. Huh? Twelve green lights in a row. That's my record. The game's not original. It's respectable, not brag-worthy. You've done more than 12 green lights in a row. How many? See, if I told you, you'll feel bad about yourself. How many? 23. Wow, I can see defeat. Yes, you should. My name is Penny, by the way. Like the coin? Yeah, just like the coin. So what do you do, Penny, like the coin? I'm sort of in between jobs. Right now, I teach part-time. Wait, 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 don't tell me. Literature. Huh, art. History of DC Comics with the focus on the Jack Kirby years. Is that a real thing? <laughs> it was a, it was a blow-off course seniors could take in my high school. Wait, I thought Kirby worked for Marvel. 
He was at Marvel first, but went over to DC in the early 70s. Very good, though. Well, thank you. You obviously took that blow-off class, and you paid attention. So what do you teach, Penny Like the Coin? I teach dancing. Ah, so close. <laughs> what kind of dance? The kind where you take your clothes off. It's funny, that's usually a conversation starter. I guess I never realized there was much of a demand for teaching people how to strip. I sort of figured, you know, you just take it off and shake it. Next time you're in front of a mirror, why don't you try that? And then ask yourself, how much would you pay to watch you? I would probably pay me to keep my clothes on. Maybe one day you should come by for a lesson. <laughs> I'm serious. It's a confidence builder. So's getting drunk. Yeah, but who do you do your drinking with? Yes, me. And you're right, it's a company that makes a difference. I would say so. So, Penny liked the coin. You got a dance partner? Harris. Go for Harris. Bring some bad weather reports to your area. Yeah, I see. It looks like a thunderstorm. We'll come back to the city limits after your drop off. Roger that. Is that your boss? Uh, yeah. Dispatcher. He sounds pleasant. He is not. We're just, uh, we're just a few minutes out. You all right back there? Harris to dispatch. Yeah, go. Uh, what is it? I'm 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 not sure. Uh, my coffee's burning. My passenger. Uh, Enjoying this game as much as you are. She disappeared. She did. No, she. She what? She sure as hell didn't beam out of there. She kind of did. You been hit the sauce. What do you think? Well, if you haven't been drinking, then I guess she got abducted by aliens. Appreciate that. You sure she didn't ditch? I'm quite sure. I don't know what to tell you. There's no protocol for this. Reset the meter, come back in. Go this one to wash. Wait, that's it? What else is there? I'm headed back. That's a Roger. Focusing on the wrong thing. It's intimacy she's missing. She wants to be close to you, not just sexually, but emotionally. That's the connection you need to build. So you mean like talk to her about feelings and stuff while we're doing it? <laughs> Alice, come in. You reached the empty shell of a man who used to be Harris. How may I be of service to you, my liege? You even know what a liege is. Yeah, it's like a lord. What's your ETA on that pickup? Ooh. Fuck me. Kiss me first. I'm here, I think. Passenger give any better description than County Line 10 north of 83? Like what? I don't know, a mile marker, a sign, maybe a cactus shaped like a giant dildo? Actually, scratch that, they're all shaped like dildos. Just 
drive around like the idiot that you are to hear the fine turn of the ground underneath breaks open and swallows you into its gaping maw and don't let it scratch the paint job. Roger that. For a cab, miss? Yes, I did. Please tell me I've heat in there. As long as you don't mind the smell of burning. I'll take it over freezing. Don't say I didn't warn you. So where are we headed? Uh, corner of Elm and River Drive, please. The middle of nowhere. That smells like burning. So your name's Harris? Yes, ma'am. Can I call you Harry? <laughs> Not if you want an answer. All right, Harris. Do you like driving a cab? I don't hate it. Doesn't it get repetitive? Not when I'm engaged in riveting conversation with one of my fares. Riveting. That's a lot of pressure. Uh, you seem up for the task. Okay. What should this riveting conversation consist of? Whatever you like, miss. It's your ride. I'd like to know something about you. I drive a cab. See, I already knew that. Come on, tell me something unique. Unique? Everybody's got something unique about them. Well, in high school, I took a class uh, on the history of DC Comics with a focus on the Jack Kirby years. It's unique. <laughs> Yeah, well, that is unique. Although it's also trivial. What? How so? Well, you completed the assignment by telling me something about yourself that's specific and unusual, and therefore you satisfied the definition of the word unique, but in doing so, you didn't actually tell me anything about you. Except that I like Jack Kirby. Yeah, but see, do you like Jack Kirby because you're a comic book fan, or do you actually like Jack Kirby because you yourself are a disenfranchised crank. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That would have been something unique. How do you know so much about Kirby? Well, maybe I took that class, too. Oh, well, <laughs> all right, then. Well, what about you? It's your turn. What about me? What do you want to know? Well, let's start with what is your name? <laughs> I didn't tell you my name this time. We, uh, must have hit an animal or something. You remembered me. Just now, you remembered me. Harris! Do you remember me? Hey, Harris. What's going on? Why are you still... We hit something. It must have run off. Did it damage the cab? Harris, remember me this time. What the hell's going on over here? Harris. I... I... I don't know. I lost my fare. What? Did she ditch? God damn it! My seatbelt's stuck! Whoa. All right. Keep your shirt on. Just call this one a wash, okay? Looks like you got some bad weather rolling in over there. Bring the cab back into the city limits. That's a Roger. You all right there? <laughs> Not really. Don't forget to reset your meter.
to the conclusion that these so-called extraterrestrials came to our planet thousands of years ago. What people don't realize is that they irrevocably altered our reality. What was will never be, and what will be isn't. I'm not sure I follow you there. They shifted the very fabric of space and time. Time traveling aliens. Are they aliens, Bob? Or are they us? You know what? Harris, Go for Harris. What was it, ass? What's your ETA on that pickup? ETA. Yeah, ETA. What are you, high? Weather reports in your area aren't pretty, and they're getting ugly by the minute. Hello? I'm here. Yeah, I see the weather up ahead. I'm almost to the pickup. Keep me posted. Will do, Roger that. Please tell me I've heat in there. As long as you don't mind the smell of burning. I'll take that over freezing. Where are we headed? Corner of Elm River, River Drive. Drive. Middle of nowhere. You're right, that smells like burning. It smells like burning. I'm sorry, but have we met before? I don't think so. It's just, I'm pretty good with faces and you seem so familiar. I do. Very much. You know, I've, I've had the worst deja vu all night. Like I can predict what the radio is going to say. You ever have one of those nights? Not really. Oh, really? Okay. Harris. Your name's Harris. Please don't call me Harris. You were going to ask me that, weren't you? See, I knew that. How did I know that? Were you going to ask me that? No. No? Okay. What's your name? Penny. Penny Dark. Like the coin. What? Like the coin. That's what we always say, like the coin. And, and then and then you ask me if I like driving. And then we talk about Jack Kirby and then traffic lights in high school and stripping. <laughs> I do know you. We've been here before, the two of us, me driving you just like this. And then we always hit bad weather. And that's when you disappear from the camera. Am I crazy? You think you're crazy? I sure as hell sound crazy. Why are you doing this? How is this happening all of a sudden? You've never remembered anything before. So I'm right. We've been here before. I am right. I am right. Oh, oh. <laughs> what is this? Did I volunteer for some science experiment or something? Am I, am I sitting in a lab somewhere pumped full of cocaine and daffodil juice or something? Well, that I can tell you. So you don't know why? How much do you remember? I, I remember driving this route with you before. I can't... It, Can I stop? It's like trying to remember a dream. How are you so calm about this? Well, I've had a lot of time to get used to it. Time? Time? How many times have we taken this drive before? Five? Ten? A hundred? Maybe more? There were so many drives ago that we started. And you never remember. And I never forget. So, so, so I've driven you down this same stretch of road over and over again for a hundred times? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you happy about this? Yeah. I have given up hope you'll ever remember anything. Who are you? I'm just your fare. 
I just got in your cab one day. He's used my fare. Okay. Well, that clears everything up. <laughs> Harris, come in. Go for Harris. I see it. Drop off this fare. Come back into the city limits. Roger that. No. No, 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 no. No. Penny? Get in, the heat smells like burning. You know what, hey? Why don't you sit up front this time? Is that allowed? Who's gonna tell on us? We're apparently stuck in a time loop for all eternity. Let's change it up. Oh. Hi. Wow. This is really real. I'm afraid so. Should we drive? We have to go in a different direction. Don't ask to go to Elman River. Pick somewhere else, anywhere. I already tried that. Drives uh, 12 through 22. Then again on 49. Got desperate that time. Well, what happened? Every road is blocked. We're forced back that direction. It's the only way we can go. Have we ever gotten out and walked? We get caught in the electric storm and have to duck back in the cab. There has to be something we haven't tried. Tell you what, if you come up with something, you make sure to let me know. I've tried everything I can think of. Why don't we just keep driving to Elm and River and see you where it takes us? All right. We gotta figure this shit out. <sighs> one thing I don't understand. Just one? Why can't I remember? I think a better question is why did you start remembering? There was an accident and the partition broke. Oh yeah, I believe I put my face through it. I touched your hand. Was that it? Well, whatever it was, I am grateful. I know you're anxious to get to the bottom of this, but I am just happy to have the company. Wow, that burning smell is way stronger up here. Should've warned you. I am so sorry. I put you through that so many times. It's okay. You were saying something about how grateful you were for me? I was saying. I am. I'm grateful. Until now, I've been, uh, very alone. You're not alone. So, how do we beat this? I don't know if we can. You remember every drive, right? What's something we've never tried before? Harris, we're in a cab. There's a finite amount of things we can do. Well, have we ever tried lighting the cab on fire and running off the road at 100 miles per hour? That'd be drive 64. Really? No. There's nothing to light it with. Look, this is new for you, and right now you've got the stamina for it, but for me, it's been a very long road. Honestly, I'm just really happy to be able to have a conversation with you where we can finally move on from Tell me something about yourself. I took a class on Jack Kirby. Now tell me something about yourself. I told you about my Jack Kirby class? Yeah, you mentioned it. I am so sorry. Don't be. I actually know a lot about you. Let's see, I, um, 
I know where you were born. I know the make and model of every car you've ever driven. I know your high school mascot, go Bulldogs. I know your favorite album, first celebrity crush. Oh, I even know your favorite breakfast cereal. It's Coco Puffs. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know you. I'm partial to Fruit Loops. Look, I can't imagine what this is like for you. But if it helps, I consider us friends. Friends? Okay. I guess I got some catching up to do. Yeah, you do. Do you think that has something to do with it, this loop we're in? I don't know. I wonder what would happen if I didn't reset the meter. What do you mean? Nothing, never mind. We'll think of something, I'm sure. This guy for Harris. Not sure why I'm bothering. Go for Harris. The bad weather report. In my area, yeah, I see the storm. Bring the cab back in after my drop off. That's a Roger. Will do, my liege. Harris out. So. Before you disappear. Or not. What happens to you when you disappear? Does it hurt? No. It's kind of like falling asleep. And then the next time I wake up, I'm out on the road, in the cold, waiting for you. What about you? As soon as I reset this meter, it's literally like I blink and I'm back on the road at the very beginning listening to the worst crap imaginable on the radio. Here we go. The grandmother is an alien. We are the alien. I'm an alien. Do you remember the first time? Yeah. Did something happen to us that caused all this? Nothing happened. We... we drove into some bad weather. That was it. Have you ever tried holding on to anything? Like what? Like your hand? You trying to get me to hold your hand? I never said anything about a ham. See, now you're not even gonna get your hand held. For research purposes only. Mm. Wow. Very big hand. Mm. <laughs> All right. Someone out there? Is anyone out there? I'm out here. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry, jerk off.
trust me. Hey, you actually a stripper? Oh God, is that you remembered? No. I made that up. By then I was just making stuff up to get a rise out of you. I was also an FBI agent once, and I worked for NASA. How'd I react to that? Not nearly as fascinated as you were about the stripper was. What do you actually do? Believe it or not, I'm in horticulture. Huh? It's plants and flowers. I run a plant nursery. Huh, horticulture. Yeah. See, when you tell people I'm in plants, that's usually a conversation ender. I like fertilization. Is that a plant joke? I like plants. You've never had anything to say about plants. Trust me. Okay, let's play Mary Fuck Kill. Mary Fuck Kill. Okay. Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus. Go. Hey. How come you don't like to be called Harry? I like to think I'm hairy enough as it is. I don't need to point it out to me constantly. I have to? Uh, yeah, that's the game. What about you? Penny short for anything, like Penelope? No, it's just Penny. You know, like the coin. Like the coin. Yeah, because she is a wrecking ball. And I would marry Selena Gomez because she's such a good girl. <laughs> is she? Okay. You're trapped on a desert island. Or how about just in a car forever? Or that. And let's say you can be trapped with anybody, dead or alive, who would you want to be trapped with? Tread lightly, my feelings are fragile. Very fun kill. Okay. Um, Pendulet Teller Chris Amy. Pe what? Um, uh, let's see. MacGyver, probably? I mean, I figured he'd, you know, build something to get me off the island. MacGyver. Yeah. Pendulet and Teller. Oh, like I, I, I don't know the difference between the two. This is a hard choice. This is this is the yeah, this is the game. This is a Brad Pitt. Uh, true romance. It's like the first thing he was ever in. He had a tiny part. Anyway, true Chris, romance. Christian Slater. Isn't it like he always has like a paper clip and a jar of peanut butter or something? He builds a bomb out of it. Fair enough. It was your choice. You want you wanted to get off the island. Well, I was thinking of maybe basking in the glow of the island. Uh, and well, no. Making the best of my situation. Well, in that but case, that's cool. that's in that cool. case, if we were to make the best of our situation, I would much rather be in a cab than on an island. And there's no one I'd rather be trapped with than you. Thank you. Yeah, what about MacGyver. you? MacGyver. You know who you are. You are one of those bullshit sensationalist pseudo scientists. I didn't think you would say bullshit on the radio. You to take any responsibility for it. Bye, man. And meanwhile. But I think Belle is marriage material. Um, but Jasmine's sexy. Jasmine's very sexy. Yeah. Can I have, like, a stepper wife of sorts? Like, some, like a robot? Why would your mind go there? God, you just hate people, don't you? Yeah. Well, he's already done. I don't even have to hear the other. Convincing some old lady in Iowa that time-traveling aliens are the reason her grandkids don't visit. Shame on you. But, Bob, if you listen to what I'm saying. What exactly are you saying? Actually, I think I finally figured out what they're saying. So, these time-traveling us aliens from the future traveled back in time and created us in their slash our image. But in doing so, altered our appearance so that we look more like them. Which is us. Yeah, but then how did we turn into them in the first place for them to go back in time and create us? See, that'll have to happen first for us to look like them if they're us, which is us. Wait. Damn it, I had this. Yeah, no, you didn't. Get out of my office. You could either take the water with me. Before. But why not me on the island? You, is it Cause can you build a raft out of coconuts and dental floss? Why do you want to get off the island? Why can't we enjoy the island? Why can't we be islanders? It's our <laughs> island. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'll just drop you off. Oh, this looks like a good spot. It's in the middle of nowhere. Perfect for you.
people don't realize is that they irrevocably altered our reality. What happens to you? I'm telling you, I... We'll think of something. Can I stop? Miss me? It gets easier. Come on, talk to me. It's nothing. What's that Omen River Drive anyway? Honestly, I don't even remember. Hey, why a cab? You never told me. Why do you drive a cab? Why does it matter why I drive a cab? Or where I went to high school, or my favorite beetle. None of it matters. Nothing matters here. We're just... Sorry. My pops drove one. 32 years, right up until he croaked at the wheel. Did you like it? No. Absolutely hated it. Complained about a sore ass all the time. But that was the thing about him. He just never had it in him to be anything else. Had it in him? How? He was a simple guy. He got up, did his job, came home. Before he knew it, he was old. His life hadn't amounted to anything. You say that like you despise him for it. No, I just... I didn't want to be the same as him. <laughs> Joke's on me, I guess. Think you're up for rubbing my ass a bit? I'm just tired of driving. You feel trapped? I know all about what it's like to feel trapped. I'm married. Back in the world. But it's, uh, it, it's not what a marriage should be. It's not even close. My husband, he's brilliant, but he's cold. And he's cruel. And his work always comes first, which is fine. What he does is important. And honestly, I'm relieved not to have to spend any time with him outside of social functions and appearances. But living like that, it makes you alone, even when you're around people. So you don't know what that's like. You don't know what it's like to live life out in the cold. Why not divorce him? Because our families are influential and our marriage is an alliance between them. It's not something I can just file some papers and walk away from. So you see, you don't have to be in a time loop to be trapped. I'm sorry. I'm not. Not here. Here, I'm not alone. You can judge me if you want. As a matter of fact, you probably should. But part of me, big part of me, is genuinely happy to be here with you. So what about you? Is there anybody special? Well, in high school, my girlfriend dumped me in front of the band and the dick playing the trombone went wah, wah. Everybody laughed at me, and I wanted to die. That was my last serious relationship. That can't possibly be it. No. That's not it at all. Hey, I get it. It's okay. We don't have to talk about that. There's plenty of other subjects to discuss. Hey, did you see that game last night? All right, smartass. There was someone. How'd you guys meet? She got into my cab one day. Was she riveting? Very. Yeah, but was she asked you to turn the heat on riveting? No, not that riveting. Plus, we met in the summertime, so ironically, the first thing she asked me for was to turn on the air conditioning. We didn't end well. I thought we were... I was deluding myself. How so? She ran off on me one day. Did she tell you why? Probably didn't want to be with a lowly cab driver. I'm sure it's not like that. 
Well, whatever it was, I guess whatever we had wasn't enough. Did you ever see her again? No. Well, suppose you ran into her again. What would you say? Come on. What would you say? I'm sorry I didn't know how to fix it. What makes you think it's your fault? It had to be someone's fault. No, it doesn't. And for what it's worth, I think it's quite noble to transport people to their destinations. There's nothing lowly about being a cab driver. Well, I'll have to get where we're going. <laughs> you say that, except I can't for the life of me get you to Elm and goddamn River Drive. Some cabbie I am. Harris to dispatch. Harris to dispatch, please come in.
10 years, okay? Just glad to see you. Something happened. What happened? Nothing. Why wouldn't I be? I can't lose you. What do you mean? We're stuck together, remember? You're not gonna lose me. Wow, that's really impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> After we left each other last time. Doesn't matter, you were right. Well, I'm used to that. But pray tell, what context are you referring? You know, first, all I wanted was to get out of this. Go ahead. What if we were meant to be here with each other? What if this is a gift? Let's just stay here. What do you think? No more loneliness, no more empty lives, just just you and me. Are you sure we can live with this? I think so. You think that'll be enough? Did you get that skull? What skull? The one on your head, right where it went through the partition. If time was resetting, how did that heal? You're not resetting. That must mean neither am I. What's going on? That scar looks old. Where did that time go? Where was I? No, tell me the truth, Penny. What is going on? What don't, don't I know? Ask those questions. Don't pull on the frame. What don't I know? Just stay here with me. Just be happy Just with me. Just be. Be here with me. Are you the one keeping me here? What? Who? Who is keeping me here? Don't. Harris, don't drink the water!
Harris to come in. Yeah, I'm here. What's your ETA on that pickup? Any minute, I'll keep you posted, Harris out. Elman River. Elman River Drive. Penny. Who is Penny? There was someone. How'd you guys meet? She got into my cab one day. Was she riveting? Very. We didn't end well. It works in everything. That's awesome. Thank you. You know, legend has it that the star Altair is a man, and the star Vega is a woman.
and they loved each other very much, but they weren't allowed to be together. So the Milky Way was created as a barrier to keep them apart. However, every year, their star paths would cross and they would get to spend one moment together as they passed each other by. Isn't that romantic? Are you gagging back there how sappy this is? No, I'm not gagging, I'm bummed. It's really sad. Love stories usually are. Yeah. Did you make the drop off? What's happening to me? Nothing. You're doing your job. What is my job? You work for me. What is my job? Harris, you are the ferryman. I have a life. I'm a cab driver. I remember that. I remember... Penny. Well, you had a life. And I'm sure it was a moderately decent one. But it's long over.
Who are you? Really? It's not obvious. We're gonna actually do this. Well, throughout the ages, I've been called many things. None of them positive. I don't know why people hate me so much. I'm sort of a necessary evil. I mean, without me, there would be no turning of the tides. No progress. Life as they all know it would cease to exist. So you... I am the receiver of many. Death. Personified. Penny. What about Penny? Where is she? Penny. It's cute, right? It's a cute name. Your Penny, as she likes to be called these days, is home right now. Home? Oh. You know, it's not your fault. What happened with you two? I don't actually blame you. Persephone, Penny and I have been having problems for, let's see, ever. Tried to make her happy, I really did, but these arranged relationships, they just... Never work out, do they? So she's... Harris. She's my wife. My husband. He's brilliant, but he's cold. Time? How many times have we taken this drive before? Five? Ten? And he's cold. I want to be the same as him. How much do you remember? Don't drink the water, Harris. Remember me this time. She hates me. I mean, hates me. And every year she takes these trips away from here. Away from me. Up above. She always can't wait, you know. Just can't wait to get away. And on one of those little trips, she met you. Really did a number on you, didn't she? She... <laughs> I'd like to point out right now that I'm not the bad guy here. That I'm the victim. You guys were the ones who ran around on me. I was forgiving, I was lenient, I was merciful. Yeah, so I sentenced you to an eternity of being my ferryman. But I took away your memory of that little trollop. And do I get to forget? No. I have to live with what you guys did, so to speak. Oh, and by the way, she's still messing with you. She just had to tell you about the water. You want to know something? She's the one who put it there. So every year, she takes a trip away from here. And every year, you drive her back. There are many ways for her to leave here, but there is only ever one way back. The ferryman. You know, just because you're aware of yourself now doesn't mean you get to stop working. Moonlight's burning, Harris. There's a piling up. We have a job to do, and we pride ourselves on our service. So reset your meter. Dispatch out.
Actually, tell me what happened. So I got locked in the bathroom for 45 minutes. People think the secret to panhandling is having the right sign. That's not the secret at all. Oh, you can try to get these guys so annoying. Like, this guy's going to give you a lot of money, it. but he's not. <laughs> Elman River. Elman River. Elman River. Elman River. We actually don't eat down here at all. Uh. I feel like I should warn you. So the secret is not to wear shoes, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Went out with a bang, huh? <laughs> This isn't one of those, like, gas, grass, or ass kind of cabs, is it? I seem to have left my wallet. Somebody at 12 You know, we got radio. I mean, it's not, it's not like XM. Are you a vapor or a bonger? I'm a chonger. It's a cheeseburger bonger. Now I'm here. Wow. Yeah. Well, welcome. You know, if I could, if I could, if I could just for a minute, it's some compelling stuff like time traveling aliens, and I've listened to it like a hundred times. Zip, e, ka, go, zip, da, Maria, Elvis River! Yeah! Got my money on her. Hello, my red time gal. How is this? Please tell me I've eaten it. Smells like burning. Always does. I'm sorry. It was just presumptuous of me. No, no, no. every time you get in my cab what's that about that's just my husband getting ready for a fight which i will win i looked for you the next year when i went back i found your cab did you know i had it restored i even drove it around a couple of times yeah. how'd she treat you 
She didn't like me as much as she liked you. Well, who does? I'm sorry, Harrison. I'm sorry for everything. Wait. When it's been a year again here, you really want to spend it this way? You're right. How do you want to spend it? Well, my seatbelt's stuck again. <laughs> you can drink the water. It's there so you don't have to remember. I know. But I'm always afraid I'll forget you again. Besides, I started to see the nobility in getting people to their destination. Selfish. I was selfish when you started to remember me. Stop. That's okay. I'm sorry. I'm eternally grateful for what you did. Eternal. Mm-hmm. As purgatory you were. Look, I once told you that remembering you was like waking up from a dream. And I've had a long time since then to make sense of it, to think about why it even happened in the first place. One thing I know for sure is, before that night, I felt like I'd forgotten my way home, even though it was right in front of me. But when I remembered you and us, I was home. I remembered you because you're the one thing in my life worth holding on to. It's 20 minutes of you. It's really worth that much to you. It's worth this price in gold, baby. <laughs> That's fairy man humor there. <laughs> you got that. Many people go their entire lives without finding any meaning. Believe me, I've driven my share of them in the past year. I consider myself lucky to get 20 minutes. So come on. This is our 20 minutes. Let's talk about something more interesting than eternal suffering. I get enough of that in my day job. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mary, fuck, kill. <laughs> you go first. You would not believe the amount of ways that people die naked. <laughs> This is your stop. Please reconsider. Penny, it's my choice. This is what I want. As long as I can remember you, I got hope. Then I'll always be waiting for you. And I'll always be here to drive you. 